welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will design a current source which would produce an output of 130 milliamperes and we will design and simulate this circuit by using KiCad tool so in this tutorial we would be using BSS84 P channel power MOSFET which has VD max value as 50 volt ID max value as 0 0.13 ampere and RD on which is equal to 6 ohms now based on the value which is present in the data sheet we will calculate the VL max VDS min R R1 value and the VR1 max value for the design purpose you can see this calculation in this particular video for your reference purpose now based on this calculation we will do the schematic on the KiCad tool now click on new project and we have to define the name of the project as current source 741 so you can name the project in any ways you want so we will save this particular project now double click on the project file and you can see the schematic window where we will do our design so now click on place symbol and we require LM741 op amp for this particular design purpose so either you can type LM741 in the filter or go to amplifier op amplifier operational and search for LM741 op amp so now select the LM741 op amp and place this particular op amp on the schematic window now right click on the op amp select properties and edit properties now we will select mirror around x axis because this would be very convenient for our design purpose now we must place a p channel mosfet for high load current situation so select bss84 mosfet and place this on the schematic window now we must place the resistor in the schematic so click on schematic window and the global library loads and in the filter type p spice and from the list select resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window repeat this process for the load resistor also and place two resistors on the schematic window now we must place the voltage source so click on place symbol and click on the schematic window now type p spice in the filter and select the v source from the list and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window now we have to place this particular voltage source four voltage source in our design so two voltage source would be uh, for the uh, supply voltage for lm741 op amp and the other two would be the voltage source for the input of op amp now click on place power port and place the ground for all voltage source which we have placed on this schematic window
Next, click on Label and click on the schematic window. The global label property pops up and enter the label value as VDD and click OK. Now, click on Schematic and name, th name this label as VCC and place this on the schematic window. Similarly, place the label VEE and V1 on the schematic window. Click on wire and connect the label VDD to the positive terminal of source, the label VCC to the positive terminal of another voltage source and VEE to the positive terminal of the source and V1 to the positive terminal of, of the source. Also we have to connect all the negative terminal of the source to the ground connection as shown in this tutorial. Place a label VDD near the resistor and next place a label VEE at pin 4 of the op amp and VCC label at pin 7 of the op amp and also V1 label at pin 3 of the op amp. Next click on wire and connect the VEE to pin number 4 and pin 7 to VCC and VDD to the resistor and V1 to pin number 3 of the op amp. Connect the resistor R1 to the power MOSFET and the source of MOSFET to load resistor and the gate terminal to the output of op amp. Now connect the terminal 2 of op amp to the resistor R1. Now right click on resistor, select property and edit property, change the reference as R of 1 and the value as 47 ohm and right click on resistor and select the property, edit property, change the reference as R of 2 and value as 40 ohm. Right click on the voltage source, select property, edit property, Change the reference as VDD and the value as 12 volt. So click on edit spice model and define the DC value as 12 volt. Similarly right click on the properties edit property change the value reference as VCC value as 12 and click on edit spice model define the DC value as 12 volt click OK. Right click on this particular voltage source, go to properties, edit property, change the reference as VEE, value as minus 12 volt, click on edit spice model, define the DC value as minus 12 and click OK. Now right click on this particular voltage source, click on edit property, change the reference as V of 1, the value as 6 volt and the DC value as 6 Volt. Click OK. Now right click on LM741, select property, edit property, define the reference as U of 1, click on edit spice model, click on model. Now we have to select the LM741 library and select the uh, type as sub circuit and select the alternate node sequence, define that as 
32746 and click OK. Now right click on the MOSFET, click on Edit Property, define the reference as Q1, click on Edit Spice Model, click on Select File. Now go to the Models, select BJT1 model and select BSS84 and type as MOSFET. Select the alternate node sequence as 3, 1, 2 and click OK. Now click on place and select graphic text and place dot tran 4 milli and 8 milli second on the schematic and this particular syntax will be the input statement to the ng spice click on wire and connect this resistor r2 to the ground now click on tools and select the simulator and press the run stop simulation button now click on add signal and select the current across the load resistor that is I of R2 and you can see the value of the current is around 127.64 milliampere which matches our theoretical calculation values. Now click on probe and place this particular probe across the resistor and the MOSFET. Now you can see the voltage value across the load resistor so what we can do is that select the signal and right click on show cursor and you can see the value of voltage across the load resistor thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose request you to like share and subscribe my channel below